Aloha, everybody. I just had some chips, so they're stuck in my teeth a little bit. It happens. Got my Hawaii gear going. Lived there as a kid. Was just there uh, about a year ago. Let's talk about the fire a little bit, y'all, and I'll take the glasses off here, even though it's amazing. When the moment arrives, you'll know you'll be all right. It's kind of a funny song to channel when we're about talking about Hawaii and what happened there. This is, this is what I'm channeling here, okay? People get baptized. Water uh, is cleansing, right? Purifying. So is fire. Like a phoenix, rise from the ashes. Forests, jungles, uh, I'm, not that I promote lighting them on fire. Uh, volcanoes, things like that. When they burn down, right, that ash, the soot, the things, they grow back stronger, more fertile. And it sucks how many people did pass and uh, are missing. And I say pass because we don't really die, we ascend, but... What a way to choose to go. What do you mean choose to go? We choose spiritually how we come in, the, how we come in this world and how we go out. Uh, this physical vessel is no accident, no coincidence. Some of you may already know, I always think Richie Valens always had fear of flying. He always had those dreams and visions of crashing in a plane. Not, um, not random, right? I feel like my phone, let me do that for the moment. Thank you, I'm gonna put my hand up in your face. I got some wires over here, <laughs> don't mind me. But uh, I love Hawaii, I love beaches, I love, I, I was meditating on uh, winning the lottery. I'm gonna, I am winning the lottery. 120 million and 20 million. Yeah, yeah, we are stating it. And then I'll use it to uh, take Anita Serene <laughs> around the world. We'll travel together. We'll have fun. We'll keep doing our videos and uh, sharing our love and wealth and, and spirit with the world. Because why not? Doing acting jobs, everything. Just looking at the clock, y'all. You know what I love about looking at the clock? If y'all looked at my other, watched my other videos here today, it's completely open. My storage is totally open. It was so great this morning. I could only, I had 12 minutes left of a of, of, of video. And uh, I told this on my workout video as well. And I said, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I, I asked too. I said, I was like, hey, if you all know an answer, let me know. And I had to stop the video. And it was like, this thing came over me. I didn't even know what to do. It was like, I was just kind of, I just knew it. I was led to it, but I didn't know what to do. I went right to the apps. I went to like the storage, which you would think would be, hey, Hey, divine time, perfect time for everything, right? All right, all right, all right. So let's see what we need to know. What do we want to know? Hmm? We're going to go to the cards here. I am going to start with these animal cards. I have them in front of me. I put them there for a reason. I love animals. Animals are such divine spiritual beings. I'm not a vegan. Uh, uh, I was a vegetarian for a while. And uh, I lost a lot of weight very quickly, a lot of muscle as well. I do say a little prayer, I say a little thank you for the, for the meat and things like that. I also know when and how it's time, speaking of my vegans, hey, there, there are people as well. Not exactly the name, but kind of the name. But I also know when and how and when I'm going to completely go vegan and not go vegan. Um, I just don't know all the info yet. Meaning, yes, you can be big and buff, and still be a complete vegan and vegetarian. I've met plenty of them and they're ripped and amazing. I don't know that much about that diet yet. But I'm psychic, yeah. I'll channel that too, when the time is right. Okay, okay, let's do this. Boop, I did, good. I keep seeing the bottom. Do I wanna read that giraffe? Let's do it. Oh, it's not a giraffe, no. Oh, it's dear spirit. Bring a gentle touch. Oh, yeah. That's why I went there with that. I bring a gentle touch. I see deer everywhere. Um, it also means intuition, right? And speaking of, thank you, eating and, and hunting and, and things like that. Yes, animals are here for us. There are guides in many, many different ways. Um, 
I think Sasquatch and what other people will say Bigfoots, I say elemental beings. When people go and look for these things, all animals know, right? Their intuition, their psychic abilities, their instinct is so on point, right? Even if you point like this at them, or if you have a camera, right? And it's not just the movement. If you have a, exactly. That's what they know. And they will, they will scatter and run. Now, if you go out into the woods, purposely looking for like a Sasquatch or a Bigfoot or something like that, you might find it asking you shall receive, but wh why? Are you a paparazzi? Are you trying to like, um, I'm sorry, I'm just thinking of these things right here. It's all right, I'll edit it out. Um, are you paparazzi? Are you, are you just trying to prove their existence? I mean, what, what's your why? What's your reason? What's going on with all that? You know? Like, why, why would you want to do that? Because it, I can't say they won't show themselves, but yeah, I know when I'm seeing them, I've seen them, but I haven't. Spiritually, yes. I will be out in the woods one day and they will show themselves. I don't know if I'm gonna take a picture. I will probably ask permission. How about that? Have you ever thought to ask permission for it? I mean, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna treat you as I'm treated, you know, kind of kind of thing. Psychically, I would ask them and I would meditate on it. Again, I, uh, my big thing is I want to see, you know, a Sasquatch, uh, elemental Sasquatch, ele, you know, elemental elves, an ascended master. Oh yeah. Mount Shasta, maybe. That's my thing. But animals are completely lizards, everything, insects. One with nature, with God, with the divine. Humans, we say we have a veil. There's a veil of... Animals don't have that, and there is no veil, really. Just consciousness and ascending. Right? The animals are completely, that's why it's no mistake, no mistake, no mistake what animals you see. The, one of the first things that happened to me with my third eye really opened. I mean, there were many things that happened, but I would stare at this, uh, this blue thing right here, right? And uh, will I be able to? Sorry, it's going to work with me, people, work with me. All right, here we go. That's a little better. A little better. I don't know why. It's going to make me feel better. Um, but I would stare at this blue screen right here, and I would see like a projection from from my eyes, from my third eye, of insects, like a bunch of insects, into birds, birds into you know bats, owls, things like that. And it was trying to let me know about nature, all the animals that I'm going to see. That Again, eagles have landed like... It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's one of my favorites. I love it when I see my, my animals. Uh, you'll notice if you're ever with me out at uh, nature preserves and things like that. And they're feeding the bears and, and they'll come up right next to me on those fences. And I'll get like as close as we are to this camera right now. I'm like, hey, and they're just cool with it. And I'm cool with it. You know, packs of dogs, everything. It's great. So that's why these animal cards are so, so important. And being gentle. Not only being gentle, be gentle with yourself. Think about it. How many of us... I, that just was my way though I was like pumped up about it but I was also gentle with myself I was also kind to myself right how many of us are so gentle and kind to others but when it comes to us we're not gentle or kind to ourselves you deserve it you be gentle and kind to yourself love yourself how many times have you said I love myself well Pat that's really that's cocky and that's you know really I love myself. Every Samuel Jackson said, "I've heard it many times. If you don't love yourself, if you don't know how to love yourself, in, in many, in every single way, in life, in spirit, in sex, in in whatever adventures you go on, how is anyone else going to know how to love you?" And sometimes you don't even need that. You just need yourself to love yourself. And it attracts the, the the right, you know, kind of love, and not that they're right. They better be. They better have their. They better be right. What the fuck does that mean? Right? 
Exactly. So I'm gonna split the deck one more time. Ooh, that's not, that's fine. Okay, well I was about to pull it like in reverse. Okay. Ooh, are these cards all back? No, no, no. Now the deers are in reverse, see what I'm saying? All right, we're gonna read it both ways. F it, F it. Again, this is, but Pat, you pulled it, the, who? This is my reading, our reading, but I'm gonna do it the way I do it. That's right. I didn't go through this spiritual awakening and, and this journey of, of spirituality to what, to fit into your box and do it by your rules. I make my own rules and then I break them. And then I make them again and then I break them again. Yeah, my Hawaii shirt. So it's a canary spirit, which is funny. Um, I'm doing it, whatever. I'm gonna flirt with her and she doesn't even know. Uh, this, th These cards that I, I'll use too, maybe not today, maybe I will use them today, but right here, that's the black canary, right? Uh, if you saw the Birds of Prey movie, and I forgot that actress, she's so amazing and beautiful and wonderful, did such a great job, I loved it. But doesn't this look like, if you all know who Anita Serene is, go check her out, great reader. That looks just like her. Yeah, so, like canary, man, like canary. And think about it, she's also holding a microphone. Canaries sing, you know, I'll make them sing like a canary. Uh, sure if that's the way you want to look at it. But I think, uh, look at the canaries on a flute, right? Because it's beautiful music. The things right now, I'm speaking it, I'm saying it. I'm playing my music, right? My music, what's your music? Working out's part of my music. Speaking's part of my music. Acting's part of my music. Fun sex stuff is part of my music, right? And I'm the king of it. Look at that crown up there. I'm the king. I don't have to wear a crown for everyone to know. I just know. I'm a king and queen. Ooh, what does that mean? Three snaps and a Z formation. A little old school, uh, I was about to say old school Saturday Night Live, but it's not. It's old school uh, in living color. Fly girl, J-Lo style. Sing your own song. What's your song? I'm singing mine. And I'm, I'm, I'm ascending through it all the time, having a newer song. Uh, some people say evolving through it. I say ascending. Because new things are coming in, better things. And not that the old things were bad, they were great too. I'm just going forward, you know? Connecting the dots, being foolish. Steve Jobs, you. Now I did pull it this way, and it's uh, card number 12. That breaks down to a three. Look those numbers up, y'all. I might put them up on the screen, I might not, we'll see. And I, I was reading it up this way. You, you'll know if you're singing your own song. You'll know. Now you can all say, I don't, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means to sing my own. Uh, and that's okay. There is nothing wrong with that. That means you have enough confidence and courage and, and, and I was gonna say self, there's self doubt, but of course there's gonna be self doubt. Welcome to being human. But you have enough courage to say, I don't know, but I'm open to, to finding out. Boom. That's like the number one first step. Elon Musk, you know what's so brilliant about him besides all the actual brilliantness of, of him? He'll be in an interview and someone will ask him something and he'll go, I don't know. You don't have to know all the answers. How many people probably go, well, you, you, you. okay. That's, you just ask me something that I, okay, give me, a, give me some time, give me a moment, give me, you know, just like my psychic abilities. It may not be, for whatever reason, in that moment, divine timing. I'll be like, let me go sit with it for a bit. You know, I'm not going to rush into it. I'm not going to just jump into it. Uh, like the Hawaii thing. I've always wondered, I was like, did someone talk about it? Did someone see it? I didn't see it. I kept hearing travesty, travesty, or Travis C, or Travis D. But I, I don't really sit and dive into that. Well, why not, Pat? Well, do you think I want to see a bunch of people dying in a... F no. You know? That can't be fun. Right? Now, yes, I, would, I, I am definitely at a point and even ascending more to a point, uh, I'll be able to solve what people will call crimes. I don't call them that. I'm like, let's help the best we can, right? Do I really want to? That's a great question. Again, I am a Spider-Man galore. Great power comes great responsibility, which has been used in a swinger sex kink way as well. It's called a radioactive spider bite to kink. And this one girl I dated, see how where this goes, people? Welcome to channeling. She kept saying that to me in a story, like, 
with great power comes great responsibility. Like they were chastising someone, but she made it like it was a Marine or military thing. That's not how that works. And she was a captain in the Marine Corps. In the officer ranks, she's a private. I guess a lieutenant would be more like a, and not that those are equal ranks, but she's low on the totem pole. I was raised in a Marine Corps family. And I didn't say anything. I was just, you know, I was a nice guy. I still am, but I'll call you out on your now. Um, because obviously it was a lie. She was saying it, not just that, but but that was her, they did. It was more of a sex thing, wasn't it? Holy shit, hold up. It wasn't, it was her polyamorous group and things like that. You know, she didn't make it up, but yeah, she made a lot of it up, but kept telling me that same story over and over, and it wasn't really that. But think about that. They're all supposed to be the set one. I'm only as, as strong as the weakest link, right? I fight for the person in the, in, in the trenches next to me. That's how strong I am. Now I'm supposed to, yeah. And you talk shit on that person and what, kick them out of your little polyamorous group or out of your, out of your, uh, kick them, or whatever it was. She sat there and was making fun of it like it was funny. That's who she really was. That's not who she really is. I've seen many lifetimes with her. And you think I wanted to? <laughs> there we go. It just happens, man. And I'm like, whoa, what was that? And I used to like try to ignore it or something, but you know, I just breathe through it. Sometimes I write it down or I sit with it. And over time, it'll make sense. Like right now, even talking about it, all that new info, boom, that pops into my head. Channeling, channeling. So technically she was singing like Canary. That wasn't your song, it wasn't your words. You were trying to manipulate with them and not, not you who's maybe, ah, she is watching, isn't she? Yeah, all those folks, they all keep watching. Well, you keep watching and watch the greatness that is me. Woo! Who's the master now, Shona? I am, cause you got the glow, you got to know. Bruce Leroy. You guys ever watch that old movie? It's uh, The Last Dragon, Barry Gordon's The Last Dragon. Amazing soundtrack. Google it, look it up, you're gonna love it. Has some great rapping. It's from the 80s, so you know it's like cool 80s rap. So there's, there's a couple people. You know you're not singing, not that you're not, right? Not that you're not. You're ascending, you're ascending. A lot of people always say, well, I'm not in shape. I'm like, you're always in a shape. What kind of shape do you want to be in? You're already in that type of shape too. You just don't know how to get there yet. And when I was a trainer, as I still am, makes it a little easier, doesn't it? I'm gonna shuffle it one more time here and then we will uh, do the split of the deck. Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's go ahead. Ooh, a koi fish spirit. Card number 36. There is always enough. A koi fish. I don't know what kind of fish that is. I think it's Japanese. I could be absolutely wrong. Google it for me, y'all. But it looks like a big goldfish, but like a catfish as well. You know what it pops in my head? Goldfish. Um, thank you. Thank you. Do y'all hear that? That little knock? My God's all around me. I was thinking Ted Lasso, which is also a swinger thing. A lasso, uh, premium, wow, is this, okay, yeah, let it roll, let it roll, Pat. Premium League Soccer, El Football, um, is a sign as well. Go look at my video, the Nexium, Fet Life, Swinger, Polyamorous, Sex Symbols and Signs and all that. Uh, it's an article that I just kind of cut up. You might want to pause and read through it because I didn't really leave a lot of time in there with them. But uh, that will help. You'll see what I mean. There's another article I probably will put up as well this guy wrote who was actually in that world. And it just solidified everything I was already seeing, hearing, channeling. And I was like, boom. So thank you for showing me that article as well. Um, but in Ted Lasso, first of all, great actors, great show. Yes, right? Love it. Uh, Danny Rojas, you man. Just, just the acting is wonderful. The, the camaraderie, the, 
team spirit. And yes, that to me would be polyamorism or just, just great team, you know, working together. Complete guy was completely out of his out of his league. He was a football coach who had to go to American football coach from like Kentucky and things like that. I use my southern accent and went to England, right, to coach football, which in the states here we call you know soccer, right? el football. And uh, he did have a great saying. He goes, you know, sometimes you know what's so great about goldfish? They have they have uh, ten second memories. You know, they don't even have ten seconds. They don't remember. They don't remember anymore. Be a goldfish, be a goldfish. Which is saying, don't let it bother you, right? Oh, did you guys hear that? Is that the bird singing? What is that? I love these powers and gifts, man. Um, but he was saying, be a goldfish. But don't, I would say, don't forget, right? And of course, things are gonna bother you and things like that, especially when you're on that. When you let them really get to you, when you let things really get to you, like if I really let that video this morning at like three or four in the morning when I was making it and I saw I only had 12 minutes, if I really let that get to me and bother me, like I had a thing with my own my own family yesterday and it bothered me for some reason, but that's not it. I transmute that energy for everyone and it helps me to understand my own family. And uh, like I could go into it right now and I don't want to because I'd be talking to my own family and here's the thing, they're my family. I'll do that. If anyone else did, we'll have words. You don't get to do that. Get, see what I'm saying? That's something I'm here to transmute. Um, earlier in my workout video, I talked about the exorcist and channeling that. I talk with Lucifer a lot. The archangel, morning star. In Hebrew, one who is the light. But he was cast at, mm -mm, he, she, he was cast in a role to help. Let it sink in, right? Why would the young girl, why, because she played with a Ouija board, really, divination? In the movie Exorcist, why would a young girl be the one to take on, right? She was the one who was most powerful, the strongest, to transmute everyone else's, right? And past lives and current lives, uh, uh, sins. And, and demons and energies. The, mo the mother was an actress, more worried about her career than her own daughter, all right? She just, not even divorced, I think she was separated. You know, all that negative energy and, and sexual shame and guilt and everything else, including they were in Georgetown, Washington. Washington, D.C., oh my goodness. I will take New York City, London, any other freaking city in the world instead of Washington, D.C. Everyone is so fake there. They think, and I, I'm from the area. I've had to train people there. Everyone is very, they think they're very, we well, you know who my husband is. I lived in New York City. I bartended and I had CEOs of RCA, a uh, uh, head of studios, like billionaires, billionaires. Yeah, they, they gave me their, their whatever Amex card or whatever, I mean, I, it almost ripped my arm off. I mean, it was like a ninja star. It was so thick and heavy. I was like, what is this? And I would have to read it. I'm like, oh shit, you know who that is? And I won't, I won't drop names right now, but that's what I'm talking about. They never once said, they were cool, man. They were like, hey, what's going on? They were just, they were cool. They were New York, you know? They were just fucking cool. Like, I want to say something like Jay-Z Jay level, Beyonce, like that's who they hang out with on, on a normal basis, right? But they would come to my bar. I mean, yeah, I worked in some cool bars, but I, mean, I always made sure they had to drink right away and they were just cool people. And then I'm in Washington DC training, you know, uh, uh, working with, and they're fucking assholes. I'm gonna say it. Like everyone, mm -hmm, I'm, a, I'm a, in the center. Now you don't do shit. You're the one who's everything up here. You're more worried about your looks. That's government, military, all of it. And they are the biggest sex swingers, into prostitution, and I think prostitution should be legal myself. That'd be the number one cash thing in the world. It would be much safer. There'd be all these protocols. You know, I mean, it already is there. Everyone uses them, right? Those folks who have the most shame and guilt have the most to, to lose and hide. Bill Clinton, he, you know, he lied and lied, and then he said, I am sorry. I lied about that. And we were like, hey, not a problem. 
You admitted it. You admitted it. That's hard to do. Do is it okay? No, we don't think it is. Your wife definitely doesn't think it is. But you admitted it. Good for you. That's the hardest thing to do. So yes, thank you. And now I'm here 90 degrees. Why would he tell somebody he doesn't love? Because he did love them. But they were probably cheating with each other. Anyways, see how that works? Channeling. Thank you. That's amazing. You guys, are you hearing all the little creaks and cracks and knocks? These aren't normal things I'm hearing. This is a whole new... Actually, let me rephrase that. I do hear in, in when we're doing this, because I've said it before, but also I've been in another room where there was a clear knock all the time. And so now I'm hearing it just diff slightly not the same, but the same. That's amazing. All from a card on a fish, guys. So yes, there are moments to beat that goldfish and really, really don't let it bother you, right? And, and it's easier said than done, I know. And it's, you'll know, I know personally, I know when it let it to, to transmute and, and not let it because it doesn't bother me, but to transmute it, let's rephrase it, to transmute it. it we'll say that, that energy. So we're not forgetting, we're not being, being a goldfish means to transmute that energy, right? Keeping your eye on the prize, keeping focused, not ignoring out here, because uh, man, I, I used to have great tunnel, I still do, but amazing tunnel vision where nothing would bother me here, nothing. This is my goal, this is my desire. Whew, got enough of these people and things just coming at you. It's like, all right, whew. You know, you get to a point, that's why the awakening had to happen, it was time to sit, meditate. Now, do I judge any of these people? Mm, I'd prefer not, but everyone's got guilt and shame, you know? I, I certainly don't judge them the way they judge me. Don't judge me, judge a judge pop. Um, they definitely won't approach me anymore because I'll just say it out loud. And I wish, uh, you know what? We're ascending. Everyone's ascending. How about that, right? So let's move forward here. Breaks down to a nine. This is not card 36, breaks down to a nine. Nine, to me, is is endings, and 10 um, is endings in good way. Like, everything ends, everything, but it, it means also new beginnings, right? That's what a 10 is to me. You know, 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles, 10. 10, 10. That's one of my favorite numbers. I see it all the time. And then 11 is manifestation. You, it's coming in. You're man manifesting this something new, right? And also to learn something new. There was a young lady I was dating, who, her apartment was number 11, and it was great. It was happening to anyone I ever dated, it, uh, everywhere, 11, 11, 11, it was awesome. But she was big swinger, army, she was in the army. And I've told this story before, but we we're in the grocery store, and she just flipped that pineapple upside down and pushed that cart around. Never once said anything to me about it. And I, I just said, you need to upside down pineapples. And she goes, sometimes. I didn't know what the, it meant. I just knew it was something. And that thing that happens to me, uh, that again, I've been naked with women where I'm like, nope, I have to go. And, and we weren't being, and I was just like, I have to go. And I can't explain it. It was like that. I didn't leave. I was just like, hmm, something is going on. And I have to sit and figure this out. Psychic abilities. Auditions, man, I've been in it too. And I wanna say hashtag me too. Man, it's happened a minute just as much as it happens to women. Not only gay men who are casting directors, straight men who are casting directors toward another guy. But that means they're, no, 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 no. That's not the word, it's polyamorous, remember? Or just open love. But yet, they would get very upset when I was chose, when I knew and go, excuse me, wait, 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 this is an audition. This isn't about, I'm here to do work. When I stepped up, they would, uh and I was never called in by them again. And I was very vocal about it when I left the room as well. Women as well who are casting directors have done it to me. Yeah. And again, I would say something to them. Because they would try to neg you at first and then, and then try to bring you. It was it, not all of them. And I'm sorry for all, the, for all of them. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry for them. I, I, mm, oh, their names. I want to say their names too. And it's like, whew, I get it. Why not say their names, Pat? Oh, I will, don't you worry. And when I do, it'll be the biggest 
ever. Coco. And I'll say it again too with the, the hashtag me too in Hollywood. Listen, it's not right. It isn't. God, if you all would have said something sooner about it, how many women would have been saved? How many women wouldn't have to go through the same thing because you didn't speak up? And for those that did and they tried to make you think you were crazy or so, I am, again, sorry, that sucks. Even Brad Pitt went down to Harvey Weinstein's uh, office and threatened him and stood up. He didn't say anything out loud to the, the public that I know of and I'm not accusing, I'm not pointing fingers. I am literally stating the facts and truths. One person spoke about it out loud that I know of. I think it was Rose McGowan, maybe. And then all of a sudden, me too, me too, me too, me too, me too, me too. Pat, are you shaming them? No, I'm telling the truth. How many of you wished you said something sooner? Because maybe you didn't know, but of course you knew. If they're doing it with you, they're doing it with everyone. Maybe not. I used to think that I was so, of course, me, but no one deserves that. Look at Brendan Fraser. No one deserves it. Speak your mind. Don't be afraid. Heck, you might yell, you might get angry, and that's just part of it sometimes, right? Floating like a butterfly, stinging like a bee. Do we need to even go through that again? All right, let's move on from there. Woo. You know what I really want to do? Let's go to the friends. I have a friends tarot cards, you know. I'll be there for you. Interesting. I went to shuffle it, but look. Judgment. Tooting your horn. What, what, what was it earlier? A flute with the bird. Speaking it. Tooting your horn. Judgment. I know thou shall not judge, but that's not what we're saying. These other folks that, uh, that were staying with this topic, I guess, they've already judged you on it. And what are you doing? You're blowing, you're blowing the, the tooting the horn. You're, you're saying it out loud. So really, it's not even judgment. It's truth. And what are they going to do? They're going to they're Don King it and be like, oh, no, you're, you're crazy. You're just, I don't know what you're talking about. And then all of a sudden, what's going to happen? This person's going to say something. This person, this person. Go, yeah, they did that to me. Speak your mind. Speak your truth. Be who you were born to be. You know I want you. That's not a good. Let's try that again. Hold up. <clears throat> Welcome to acting. You know I want you. Nope. Why is that? Why are we not hitting that? I'm brave, I'm bold, being who I was born to be. Is that what you wanted me to say? I'm seeing the uh, Hugh Jackman singing that right now, the song. Being who I was born to be. Do you notice the difference in that? And it wasn't that I couldn't hit it, uh, even though I'm not. Anyways, do you, the channel, the energy, that's what, they wanted, that's what we wanted me to say. I'm brave, I'm bold, I'm being who I was born to be. I feel like I want to keep saying that. Being who I was born to be. You know I want you. No. Eh? Don't fight it. Don't force it. Well, there's warming up. No, no, no. Don't force it. Tooting your horn. Being who I was born to be. And you see how that works in channeling as well? Now, the actor in me, the part is like, oh, I'm going to, no, no, no. Be in flow. Listening, trusting, exactly, my friend. Thank you. Yep. Ah. <laughs> I knew this was going to come up earlier. We'll do this as well. This is my favorite card out of all this. It's, uh, and I knew it was on the bottom, but I just didn't know which, which one we're, uh, here. This one is uh, the Eight of Pentacles. And the, 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 Smell the fart technique, right? And look, it's Joey, who's an actor. And I would say there needed to be some more uh, diversity of, of skin colors in this show. But Joey Tribbiani here, an actor. And he came up with his, his own method of acting. Smell the fart technique. Right? Or maybe it's... Oh. <laughs> or confused of... He came up with his own method of acting, the Eight of Pentacles, right? And I want to say the Eight of Pentacles in the TV card deck here is MacGyver. Think about that. He can't MacGyver. He's MacGyvering his own 
way of doing things. Joey did his, you know, acting his own way. And then there was that time he tried to um, sabotage this other really great actor and told him to play the part gay. And they loved it in the soap opera because he was up for the same part. Hey, A, karma, do the right thing, you know? Also, you're a great teacher, Joey. Intuition, that's how it works. That's a sign that my clothes are done, but also intuition that works, boom. Look how everything is flowing, y'all. Look how it's flowing. I got my Hawaii shirt on. You know, I'm thinking, uh, did I have something on my shirt? I'm thinking Magnum PI here, which I love, but doing it your way. Yes, right? Doing it your way. Look, but he, it's not like you're not working. He's working on it. He's working on it his way. I'm also thinking the, the time on the show, Jeff Goldblum, and uh, he had to, Joey had to audition, and he was like, you don't want it. You don't have the urge. You don't have the urge. to. You're not wanting it. You're not feeling it. So his method of acting was he drank a bunch of water and sodas before he went in because he had to pee really bad. And that made him have to really get the urge of the scene and then go pee. <laughs> but I think what happened at the end was they wanted to see it again and do it another way. But he had to pee the whole time and they ended up peeing himself. Hey, learning. I'm not saying the method's not, not right or wrong or, or, you know, it's your method. Evolve it. You know, but what method works? Your method works. Your method. I'm sure Dwayne Johnson has a whole nother method of acting, right? I don't know why that popped in my head. And then I was looking at my own hairline. I don't know why. I'm drawn to it for a reason. How you doing? All right. So let's shuffle these. Great, great cards, though. A lot of fun. Wait a minute. This is Friends, and you have a whole tarot thing? Yeah. Divination, y'all. Again, the power's in the cards. The power's in me, in us, in things, you know? This is just a tool, kind of like a wand. I know I don't need the wand or the, the He-Man sword. I am the power, He-Man. I know, I changed the words. Um, but it's fun. It's fun to have. I know I saw that to the King of Pentacles. And it's Joey here, right? Yeah. The King of Pentacles. Ah, he's in a suit. Dr. Drake Ramore. Remember, he's an actor. And I know a lot of people have these ideas with actors that, you know, I don't know, we're, where we have auditions or we're going to places and there's red carpets rolled out for us with, 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 with rose petals being dropped down, you know, to the audition. She's your queen to be. Arr, arr, arr. And I think that's the Academy Awards in a lot of way, right? Because you're like, I have to go here and I have to stand here and I have to pose and do this. But not in those days, not the, that's to me, I mean, yes, the Academy Awards and that level of acting, that successful acting, of course, amazing actors. That's also mandatory fun. That's part of it now. You know, the fun parts, the acting part, that's why everyone gets into it. They enjoy it. And of course, they want to be successful. Um, I, don't, I don't think they want to be celebrities. I, think, I know that part of the job description, um, having people follow you around. I mean, I, you know, good, bad, bad, good, ooh, right? But it's the acting, it's the art, right? And then when Joey became Dr. Drake Ramore, right? He became the King of Pentacles. He went from what? Uh, his friend, who, what's his name? It's not Frazier. I was about to say Frazier, which is interesting. Um, oh, help me out, y'all. It's him. It's him. Chandler, thank you. Thank you. Paying his rent all the time just because they were friends. I mean, wow, what a, what a group. Here I am. Did they all sleep together? Were they polyamorous? It's that's what people want to say, but they didn't keep secrets from others. But did they allow others in their little clique? Think of um, I know there was the actress who was going to marry Ross. Remember in the show, and we had a, a young lady at our acting studio, and my teacher was telling us this story, who was up for that part as well, but she played it as an actual, they're in love. And it was great, they crushed it. We saw the, it was an amazing audition, but that wasn't the point. We want Ross and Rachel together, right? And I'm just talking TV shows, which is gonna you know, correlate with you all as well. We wanted Ross and Rachel together. The point of, and it was the English uh, woman, remember, I forget, I forget her name, 
Great actress, though. I've seen her in tons of stuff. She got the point of it. We we had, we like her, but we couldn't like her too much because she was really there to to uh, split um, to get in between the two. You know, she was more of an obstacle for them. And I don't even like saying the obstacle because it's acting. But she knew the part. She knew that was the important part that we were doing here. That she was going to be a guest star. And I mean, guest stars have turned into regulars on the show. But she knew the objective of that part, right? And it's interesting that we got to that off of, uh, yeah, all right, we'll move on. Let me shuffle these one more time. And uh, did I shuffle them before? I don't even know. <laughs> but also, yeah, we we are the king of pinnacles. We're getting on our throne. We, we're, look at, we're, we're doing what we're born to do. We're great at it too. Uh, not only that, we're gonna we're gonna save the money. We're gonna we're gonna know. We're not gonna walk around like I'm the king. But man, we are gonna feel great inside. I mean, we already do. We should already feel great inside, right? Yes, the outside part helps too. Okay, okay. Say hello to my little friend. Okay. One more time. One more time. Shuffle. Because I wasn't really focusing. No. Okay. I was drawn to a card. It was the page of wands. Uh, now, nah. moving. That's not, not the message we want to say. Welcome to Psychic Abilities, everybody. Bing, bang, boom. Kaka. What? And strength with a lion. And the lion to me is pride, having pride. Yes, that kind of pride, but also pride in yourself. Don't let pride get in your way. That's very different from being proud and having too much pride to I am above you, right? To actually having pride. Remember, I say this with strength of the lion because, you know, uh, a, a tribe of lions, a group of lions, it's called a pride of lions, right? And we could go down the road of, of the male lion and female and all that, but the strength. Chandler, remember Chandler always had the strength to keep going. Why do you think he's the one hugging the lion? In most tarot cards, it's a it's a, a female, right? I guess Chandler would be more of a feminine energy on that show. Monica would definitely be more. Of, she would she would go between the two energies, but he had the strength, right? Think of all the things that always happened to Chandler. Didn't always, the, he never got the girl or he, all that stuff. But it was okay because he had the strength going through. Not knowing the love of his life was right there across the hallway. Which, by the way, uh, none of them could afford that apartment. The fem the women. That New York apartment, and I think on the upper, not even the 90s. That expensive. Where Chandler and Joey lived, that's eh, about Right? Right? And trust me, that's expensive for rent and things. I know, I know from experience. I lived there 13 plus years. So, yeah. Great city though, great city. Quieted me down. And that was one of the biggest issues because you don't talk to people, right? And again, there's so many people that are in your thing, but whew, I'll tell you the missing formal one psychic that was happening to me the last the, the last two when I was, the two years I was up there. Whew, and I'll do a whole thing on that. I know you want to hear it now, but this is about you. I'll tell my story. Together, our stories are one. Yay! What else do you want to do here? I'm going to set these here. And I want to do the movie tarot cards, which are very different. I'm a little nervous because they do have like just cards full of wands. Again, I don't read like y'all, so it'll come to me when it comes to me. I always say that, man. I do it my way. I'm like Dalton McSwayze up in here. At the double deuce. It's my way or the highway. Well, here. You can do it your way, wherever you want. Again, I make my own rules and I break them. I make them again. I ascend them. I ascend them. Rules are meant to be broken, right? Maybe not laws here like Arnold says. Well, depending. Well, Muhammad Ali technically broke the law. and Look what happened there. Uh, Muhammad Ali fought the law. Guess what? Muhammad Ali won. Because he's the greatest. He's the champ. The champ is here. The champ is here. The champ is here.
Oh yeah. Speaking of the champ, the Hierophant, the Godfather. And this is why I love using these acting uh, parts here. Let's talk about, when we talk about the mob, we're gonna talk, we're gonna talk about Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando's acting, brilliant, of course. He was ascended. Awake like me, mm, not a, yes, Could, but no. But he knew this. That's why he didn't memorize the lines. He never really got into it to tell people that I know of. He was also into men and women, black men and women, dark skinned men and women. Yeah. Did he sleep with cat? No, unless he didn't, you know, if he wanted to, but it wasn't even about that. See, it's different. Look, look, let me talk about Marlon Brando doing this. It wasn't the casting couch style. It wasn't the hashtag, he just, he was the one in charge in that room and everyone knew it because he's Marlon Brando. He would have something in his ear and they would just say the first part of the line or he would have little cue cards up everywhere. And um, he channeled that energy purely and he knew it. That's why he stopped memorizing lines. He channeled the energy. He not only knew the character, he was the character, and he just had to sit there. That's the Hierophant. That's knowing thyself. Talk about a spiritual master. And a master knows they're always ascending and learning. Brando knew it. They didn't want him for that part. He was unbankable. He was uninsurable. You didn't know he was too... Robert Downey Jr., same, they had the same, right? They were too great. They were too amazing. Problems, yeah, and? Now Marlon Brando, I believe they wanted to tame him. And Marlon knew it, Marlon was like, no. No one tames me, he knew it. Brando is a bad mother. Mm. When I see him, he's here with me all the time, whispering and, and talking with me. He always shows himself in his later years, in his uh, Dr. Uh, Island of Dr. Moreau form, fatter form, heavier, you know, which is really interesting. He's like, I, I didn't care. I put all that weight on purpose. You think it was accidental? Did I have things going on? No. I knew me and I knew what I wanted to do. I was, it didn't matter anymore. I shaved my head, put the weight on. You want to film me in, in shadow? Fine. I knew what I wanted to do. That's Brando, y'all. That's Marlon Brando. I knew. It's not the younger Brando, but I see it like, and he's like, because I was going to do, but it would have been channeling though, not an impression, but he was like, mm -mm. some of saving it. Oh, wow. Interesting. We've talked about this too with uh, a streetcar named Desire. I would not, that's the, that's the pigeonhole that people, they try to do it like, no, there's this, I have a complete different energy. I've been able to bring, not comedy, like slapstick comedy, but it would be human. It's like a roller coaster ride. You, we talked about it. You know, I get have this intense gorilla blah, hitting things and the next line, like, uh, you know, so actors are channeled. Actors are psychic. It's an energy. We understand it. We know how to release it. We know how to embody it. Which is why we pulled that Harry font right there. Harry font? Harry font. And who was the master of, 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 and he wouldn't even say, I'm not a master, you know? I'm not a master here. I just know how to do it the way I would do it, you know? I don't know why you want me to do it like the Godfather. Maybe because it's the card, you know, yeah. Doesn't that sound like a higher font to you? Two-time, whatever, Academy Award winner. Also a, a guy who broke the mold of the studios, got paid a million dollars to do Superman. That was huge for what? 20 minutes of film, 30 minutes? He wasn't even the star of it. That was huge. Him and Sean Connery, man, I've talked about it before. They, uh, they both fought against the studio, fought back. 
They're like, I'm the product. I'm the one doing the work here. People come to see me, not not you, studio. So the two work together. The studio used to own you. You hated that, didn't you, Brent? Oh, he hated that. He hated it. Dress like this. Be like this. Act like this. He's he's uninsurable. No, he ain't, he's not going to be controlled by you, studio. He's not going to be controlled by you. Sean Connery, same thing. A Scotsman. Whoo. Whoo. England did that enough for how many years, right? Primo Noctu, what is that called again? When they try to breed someone out, whew, whew. Look at all these things that come to me, right? And I talk about these gentlemen, were they perfect? No, well, what does they even mean? They didn't care, but they knew themselves, they knew. Sean Connery didn't do a James Bond movie. And that's when George Lazary came in, which George Lazary freaking James Bond his way into the part, which is awesome. Uh, we'll talk about that another time. But uh, George Lazary never had an audition. He, he just walked in and he stole a suit of Sean Connery's from a tailor, got his haircut done like Sean Connery. Didn't even pay attention to the, the secretary, just walked straight in past her into the where he had to be. Um, found the the head exec's door leaned up against it very james bond like and they were like oh you're here for the audition he was like yeah yeah no never had one he james bond his way in which i give him one of the best bonds ever because even though people wouldn't i would give him that that's how he got the part that's badass sean connery of course sean connery he said no i'm not going to do it not until you give in to my demands you know they paid him like 16 thousand dollars for the first james bond dr no which i'm sure an out-of-work actor you're very happy but then and then it was like 30 minutes or not 30 but like 30 it was it was nothing you couldn't really live it was nothing and they owned you he had to they said uh and brando this brando's like go ahead yeah they tried doing it to me too until the talent right until it was like hey man we gotta let these actors be how much better uh, uh more better more better more better fine more uh more authentic performances and better performances when we have freedom when we're allowed to be who we want to be it makes us want to work with you more you know and isn't that what we've been talking about this whole time speaking your truth being your true self and not being afraid you're not conforming they didn't conform even if you're like you know what it's not who i am right it's not i don't agree with that right now which is fine and if they try to, they might, if they try to force it on you, then that's when you go, all right, we're stepping up now, whatever that means to everybody. But thank you. <clears throat> but usually that means that their own insecurity because then they would have there. This isn't submissive dominant. I mean, this is some kinky thing that you want to do fine. Then there should be an agreement ahead of time, right? Well, in BDSM, don't they say that aftercare? I don't know how I know about this. Uh, starts before the whipping and hitting whatever goes on there I, I, it's hard for me to i can't even hurt another person um now verbally i do light up and it's like oh to other people not myself but that's so great we pulled that marlon brando card talk about being being yourself speaking speaking your true authenticity yeah thank you brando thank you let's shuffle one more time and then we'll, we'll do the split this deck yeah, it's how I read them, y'all. It's how, I'm, it's how I'm called to read them. Read them like I see them, right? Read them and weep. Like we're playing poker. And know where it's going to lead us, y'all? The Ten of Cups. Fulfillment. Full emotional fulfillment. When you are your true self, you are excited. You are happy. You have you have all these cups to choose from, and you love it. You're like, I'm gonna drink from this cup, drink from this cup. I'm gonna pour it all over myself because you're being your true self, right? You're having fun with it. You're you're doing you. That's what Brando did. You know, that's what I'm doing. That's what you're doing. That's what we're doing. The more authentic you are, the more you speak your truth. The more I am, I know. Jesus did the same thing. Yes. He went out into the world when the right time was right, and, and, and he was always right for him, and spoke, I am. Marlon Brando did the same thing. What? 
God's in everything. God is everywhere. Source, God, Allah, Buddha, whatever, whatever human word you want to put on it. Right? And so much more, I know. Thank you, galactic friends. But that's where we're late. Uh, you know, we're going to end it there because this is great. You're led to fulfillment. And look, I love that the heart is on top. Love. Love. Yourself. When you love yourself, everyone else loves you. Right? Because you're not searching for it. And you, you, you attract that. What do, what do they say? You attract, you don't attract what you want, you attract who you are. I think they're both kind of one. Yeah. Take that as you need. Because there's a lot more into that we can dive into. You know, we're not going to end just yet on there. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to do one more, one more. I keep going all day. I'll sit here and talk all day long, you know, if you want. <laughs> all right. And I saw that one. It was a card that I keep seeing. It'll come up. It's not the one right now. I can feel it. And we're going to do the uh, uh, Dorian Virtue <laughs> Love Sex cards. Mm. Um, love Oracle cards. Let's see here. We're going to split this. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of time together. That's all you got to say. Always end it on a good note. But what, what's a bad note? Earlier, I, what about the song? I, that just wasn't the note I had to sing at that moment in time. It was this note. Knowing the right note. Just like in The Friends, that actress knew the right note. Yes, acting is a note. They're notes that you're playing. Energy. Notes. That's why she got that part. She knew like, oh, I'm supposed to be the one that interferes between the two of them because we want them together. Right? I'm not saying there's an interference. I'm saying know, know your note. Know thyself. Know how to play the scene. Always have what people call aftercare, but your care. And every day is going to be like a honeymoon. It's going to be blissful. For you need it within yourself and your divine and spirit and guides, your significant other, with your family, with your friends, with others. It all starts here. Right here. Know thyself. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you. I love you. I love you. I know it helped. Till tomorrow.